This week on Performance TV, Joe and Kathy head to Denver, North Carolina, the home of Steel Rubber Products. Join us as we discover why the folks at Steel Rubber Products are the kings of rubber parts and weather stripping. Next on Performance TV. Performance TV. This week we're on the road, headed to Steel Rubber. And Danny is behind the wheel of this 1950 Pontiac Silver Street Convertible. Now Danny, why are seals so important to a classic car like this? Seals are what protects your whole car. I mean, you gotta have them, whether it's keeping the wind noise out, the water, uh, keeping your air conditioning in. Uh, it's, it's really what protects all the work that you've done to the car. It certainly eliminates those rattles classic car you can't have rattles that's eliminates the whole fun of it. it it gets very annoying whenever your window is just chattering the whole time you're going down the road and it's a safety issue as well in an older car like this you don't want to let exhaust fumes in while you're driving that can ruin the experience as well absolutely that's where your hood decal comes in very important to keep all those fumes inside the engine bay and out of your uh, cowl and your vent now this old girl's got a lot of original rubber what do you think she's gonna need She's probably going to need a little bit of everything. Like right now, you can see on this convertible top, you can see light coming through the rails. So, you know, first thing was we'll go ahead and get this convertible top done. There you go. I'm very excited to learn exactly what we got going on with this machine. But before we do that, we're going to kick it on over to Kathy. Hey, while well, the guys are off riding around in the 50 Pontiac, and they're going to go see what kind of parts that they need to replace. I'm hanging out here at Steel Rubber Headquarters. You know, so many cool things go on here. They have excellent customer service. They're making all of their parts right here, and we even have a few of their satisfied customers we're going to talk to today. But let's check out, back in with the guys. We're in Steel Rubber's warehouse where they have got so many cool cars, Corvettes, and of course, our 1950 Pontiac, an iconic Pontiac at that. It's a beautiful machine, but obviously we need new seals and new rubber. What do you think, Danny? What are we looking at? So this Pontiac is obviously beautiful. I mean, it's been repainted, but you can tell that some of the parts were actually on the car when they painted it. So they didn't quite take the rubber off whenever they were doing this. This is the original rubber, and you can see how it's got some paint on it. But if you actually look a little bit closer, it's actually got some cracking up here. Someone's tried to do some silicone work on the ends. So we're going to replace all of that. I mean, these seals are over 50, 60 years old. The vent window seals are original, dry rotted. We want to replace those. All the convertible roof rails where they meet the glass that's all starting to have some spaces in it, some cracks, so we're going to replace all of that. It's amazing to me, frankly, 1950, this thing is like nearly 70 years old. How did those rubbers last that long as it is? It's great stuff. I mean, it really was, and that's what everyone wants. They want it just like the original, and that's what we try to do. We try to make the part just like the original with some modern compounds to make it last even longer. And if you're going to go through all the trouble to make a car, like this to restore it to bring it back and then of course drive it that's your leading edge in the wind convertibles are already noisemakers why have a little extra problem exactly so you know you've got that seal on the top there's actually another seal right on the roof line we're going to replace all that make it so it's a nice quiet ride well now we know what to do and i think we're in the right place to do it so we're going to do that but right now let's check in with kathy Larry, you've got a really interesting story about your car. You've had this a long time. Tell me about it. So I purchased this as my first daily driver when I was roughly 22 and a half years old. I'm now almost 53, so I've had this car for almost 30 years. Um, there was a period of time when the car just sat. It was not a daily driver anymore. And I always had that dream of getting the car done just the way I wanted it. When I was deciding on the paint and body work, you know, I, I thought a lot about how I wanted the motor done, and I thought a lot of how I wanted the car done, and I started asking people, like, what's the best products for this, this, and this? And when it came to doing the rubber around the doors, the trunk, I didn't have the faintest idea. I just thought the rubber was the rubber. 
And uh, some of my best friends that are into cars and also builders, many of them, if not all of them, said, just go steal rubber products right from the get-go because then you won't have to do it again. If you've ever done an old Riviera, old Buicks, it's hard to find the parts, especially 65 Rivieras, because it is a one year only. So I was truly concerned about, am I gonna be able to find the right rubber for this car? Steel Rubber Products had what I needed when I picked up the phone and made the phone call. We'll have more Performance TV right after this. Welcome back to Performance TV. We have Danny, and Danny is a resource when it comes to all of these seals, but some people don't have that, and that's where the catalog comes in. And in this case, actually helped us out a little bit as well. Yeah, our catalog is specific to the year, make, model, and style. So this one's just for the 50 Pontiac Chieftain two-door convertible, made for Performance TV. So, you know, it's, it's tailored to each customer. And in here, it shows all the parts that you could ever need for this vehicle. So as we're going through, there's some parts that are obvious, the convertible roof rail, the header bow, but there's also some parts that we forgot about, like the belt line and the, the door bumpers and all that stuff. And all that's in here, and it's very easy to know what exactly you need. There's a lot of different parts that aren't necessarily obvious to the eye. That's absolutely true. So all the way from the hood to the trunk, there's rubber throughout. It's hard to keep all those on the top of your mind. And you guys go nose to tail every car and list them all in the catalog. Absolutely. So the catalog is absolutely vital if you're going to get started on a project like this. And Kathy has more. You know, restoring a vehicle can really be an overwhelming situation, but when it comes to the parts that you need from steel rubber, Brian, we're not going to have to go through some great big gigantic catalog. I mean, you really take some time and make it individual. That's right. Uh, we used to do a big catalog like that. We've actually now changed that. And we wanted to make our catalogs easier for our customers. We send out thousands of catalogs a year. And we've actually changed it now that it's year, make, and model specific. Oh, wow. And we actually changed it, yeah. So it works out good, so that way it's specific to their vehicle. And as they're going into these catalogs, in the beginning it starts out with kits and goes down through all the different parts. So, you know, you may just need something individual, but you've got it all listed in there. Yeah, we sure do. And that way, it, they don't have to, you know, thumb through all those different pages. It's just what they need for their car. And, and the kits, because you guys have worked on this so much, you know what they usually are going to need. Yeah, we sure do. We try to make our kits so that they've got all the pieces that they need. And that way, as they're going through their project, they can start and do the whole thing, you know, beginning to end. It's kind of like what we're seeing right here is a, is a kit for a specific vehicle. That's right. There's uh, kits that we do. There's uh, body kits. There's window kits. There's bumper kits. Um, we can make customized kits based on whatever they need. So, uh, you know, they can call in, let us know what they need that's specific to whatever the project they're working on, and we'll be glad to help them out. Well, you know, I see here a 58 Chevrolet 3100 truck, but you guys are covering everything. That's right. We do uh, several different items. We do, uh, whether it's Chevy, Pontiac, it could be Ford. So, yep, there's several different items out there. And you, you know, this is something that's pretty unique within the industry. Uh, I would say it is, yeah. Um, and we're very happy to do that. Um, it makes it much uh, simpler for the customer. That's really what we want to do, make it tailored to them. Because a lot of times they're just not going to know they needed this little tiny part someplace That's because right. it's hidden in the vehicle. Sure. Um, the last thing we want is for them to go through the process and have to wait toward the end or be missing that one piece. <laughs> and that therefore we've got the whole kit. Yes. So that way they're, they're trying to take the guesswork out of it for them. And that's what we like right here at Steel Rubber. That's right. And hey, let's go back in and check in with Joe and Danny. Well, we're in the Pontiac. We're going to start tearing it down, Danny. Yep, we know we got what we need, so uh, and we can even tear it down in comfort as yeah. we sit in here and undo these screws. I like this car. It reminds me of a movie car. Yeah, there's a there's just an iconic Americana feel about this car. I mean, it's the convertible, the color, the Pontiac, that Chieftain. I mean, this thing is everything it is to be America. Now, we're going to spend a little time doing this, and it might take a little while because. Well, all these seals have been on for 50 plus years, really 68 years. So we're going to take our time. This doesn't seem like the kind of project you have to do all in one weekend. No, I mean, uh, if you wanted to, you can take your time. But really, these few pieces are going to be simple, and it won't take us all day anyways. All right, so I'm going to kind of dig in here. And you can see there's many years of kind of road grime. This is the leading edge on this car. Yep, and these convertible roof rails, I mean, they're only held in with tension, 
So those are real easy to peel away as well. Oh, just like that. All right, that is coming out very easily. We're gonna keep working on this. We're gonna kick it back over to Kathy, see what she's got. Tell me a little bit about your car, Tony. So it's 1973 Plymouth Roadrunner. It has a custom black paint job. It has pearl white stripes. It has some cu custom graphics that have been clear coated over. Um, it's a 500 cubic inch stroker engine with an automatic transmission. It has vintage air conditioning, billet specialty wheels, and of course steel rubber products products in the vehicle. We needed the door rubbers, we needed the drip rail rubbers, we needed the underhood rubbers, the trunk rubber. We've been using steel rubber for over 15 years. We've never really had an issue with them, so everything fits as it should. You lay everything out the way it needs to be, and things just uh, work out well. The catalog is great. They can design the catalog per your vehicle per the year, or you can go through the big book and pick out custom items that you might need. So it's a, it's a really nice uh, option to have. Definitely check them out. Would not recommend anybody else. We'll have more Performance TV right after this. Performance TV coming to you from Steel Rubber Products in Denver, North Carolina. Welcome back to Performance TV. We're at Steel Rubber Products and we're working on this 1950 Pontiac Silver Streak. Danny, we've already removed the other one. It was kind of a challenge, but we were able to beat it. What is next? We obviously have to clean it off. Yeah, we cleaned it off. We got some adhesive remover in there. We use our plastic tools to make sure we don't scrape any paint off. And we cleaned it off best we could, make sure we have a nice smooth surface to glue the new part onto. The cleaner, the better, as best as you can do. Absolutely. All right, what is the difference between the old and the new? We're talking about a brand new seal versus something that's 68 years old. Right, so you can see here the 68-year-old seal is in bad shape. Destroyed. But it is designed, our part is designed directly from it. So everywhere where that post goes through that connects the convertible top, ours has that piece molded in as well. There you so go. So it should fit just like a glove. There it is. Well, we should test it out just in case. Get a test fit going. Reach across and these posts are perfect for us to do our test fit. And this thing is going to be so much better once we eliminate all that wind noise. And look at that. That is going to be very nice. All right, so we're going to get in on the rest of this installation. The test fit is looking really good. We'll get in on it. I wonder what kind of trouble Kathy is getting into. Let's find out. Well, the guys look like they're getting down to business, and I get to come into a really special place here at Steel Rubber. See all those boxes behind me? Those are original parts. And this whole wall is just mind-blowing, Brian, as to all of the different excursions that you guys do here and, and all of the stuff. I mean, you've got something for everybody. Yeah, we sure do. Um, this is actually uh, part of our universal uh, line. So in addition to the custom catalogs, we also have a universal catalog. In that universal, it has both uh, sponge and dense extrusions in it, and that way you can, for a custom build or something that you need a, a piece that's not necessarily built or OEM specific, we've got something that should fit your vehicle. I know, it's just amazing how many different pieces there are here, and, and not just the wall that you have here, but all of the full-size pieces that we see on the cork board. That's right. We also have molded pieces, not just the extruded pieces. So um, when you look at that, we have uh, a lot to offer. Now this room is, is full of just about everything because we also see all of the catalogs that you have and, and all of the parts catalogs that you can go back through and, and help folks out if they're looking for a one-off type piece because people do send those things into you. Well, that's right. And we have a lot of, uh, we, we carry a lot of the originals so that we can refer back to them uh, if we actually need to or uh, if something happens to a mold in our production process. But we also have a lot of reference material that we use in customer service and other parts of, uh, of the company so that we can help customers try to solve whatever it is, uh, their seal up or, or fix noise, you know, whatever we can help with. Well, you know, it, you guys got started with a lot of the universal things, but you've now moved moved into the RVs and the campers and boy talk about somebody that needs sealed up. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, we've really expanded that line here in the last couple of years. Uh, we've got slide out seals, compartment seals, uh, certain things for windows. So uh, we've got an RV uh, catalog specific just for RVs and that's available as well. 
you know, it, you guys have come up with a lot of tips and techniques to help people out if they have an oddball piece. And, you know, Silly Putty is not just for comic books. <laughs> That's right. That's actually a very fun thing. We tell a lot of our customers to do that when they're not quite sure what fits. Um, it's an easy way to take a little Silly Putty out, put some saran wrap around it, and, uh, you know, kind of hold it over the door, close the door on it. Send and it as you open that door, it gives you the exact mold you're looking for. Brian, what do I do if I'm not really sure what I need? So rather than buying a bunch of parts that you're not sure, we actually offer sample packs. Just let us know. We can try to help you out, try to narrow it down, and then we can send out a a, just a pack of different items you can put in there and just try it. We'll be glad to do that. And they're free. And they are free, absolutely. We want to try to get it right the first time. There you go. Well, some really neat stuff going on here in the secret room, so to speak, here at Steel Rubber. Let's check back in with the guys. We're getting ready to install our seal. Now, Danny spent a little time putting the glue down, letting it tack up. Yeah, so the glue's on. It's starting to tack up. It's ready to put our seal back on it. All right, and uh, even distribution with the glue. Yeah, even distribution, real thin layer, and then spreading it out with the uh, a popsicle stick works really well. And since we have our uh, post here kind of as guides, it's super simple to put this piece in. That is great. Yeah, this one's going in pretty easily. And just want to make sure we take our time with everything we do on performance TV because we don't ever want to do it again, or at least not for another half century. That's right. And that's, that's the whole part of making sure the parts are made from originals is because you know it fits just like it came from the factory and you won't have any kind of issue like that. There you go. Boy, this is looking so great. I am excited about the prospects for our silver streak. Well, very cool. It is in just like that, and that wasn't hard at all. We've got more coming up, Performance TV. Let's check in with Kathy. Tell us why steel rubber products are, are so good. Well, the, the quality of the material, you can tell when you, when you touch it, it's, uh, it's a lot better rubber. You can buy some stuff that's cheaper, it's not going to last as long, and they have a lot of uh, a variety of stuff, so if, if you're doing something that, that isn't necessarily for that vehicle, you can always find something to fit and in, in work for a vehicle. I've always had a really good uh, experience for quite a few years now, and uh, I've never had any, any issues. I've always had good responses, and they're always willing to help out. We'll have more Performance TV right after this. Welcome back to Performance TV. Our seals and install are going very well. A couple more screws, and Danny, I gotta say, it's looking really well. Yeah, this piece just popped right in just like it came off. Um, you know, since it's made from the original, it, it's real easy install. A couple of screws and some glue, and we're back in place. Now, what about that roof rail you got over there? This roof rail is actually even simpler. No glue required. Um, it kind of goes into a C-channel, so I tuck one side in and use my plastic tool to push in the other side, and that's, that's it. The previous ones had silicone all over them. That's not what we want to do, is it? No, you really don't want to put silicone on rubber um, unless you really know what you're doing. But just regular silicone can actually eat rubber, so you kind of want to stay away from it. Oh, there you go. Hey, bottom line, though, people are watching this and they're thinking, hey, I can do that, but they might end up having questions. And that's what you guys are here for, to help folks that have questions. That's right. I mean, it's everyone's first time at some point, so we have a great staff, technical staff, that can answer any questions that you may have about how to install something um, or... Anything that revolves around the rubber parts, we can help you out with. And I, I love the idea that uh, the owner of this 50 Pontiac is going to be able to head down the road with a whole lot less wind noise and uh, a lot more conversational when they're in the cockpit of this uh, nice car. Yeah, it's, it's going to be an even better ride than it was when it got here. There you go. And I'll tell you what, the install went a lot more simply than I could have possibly imagined. And hey, guess who it is? That's right. We're all having fun today here at Steel Rubber. You guys have done a really nice job with this. You know, this is going to be great not only to have more conversation in the vehicle, but keeping the rain out, too. Absolutely. And it looks great. So whenever you're at competition, 
Oh, it's gonna look yeah. Good. Yeah, you're definitely not going to get points taken off for that. You know what I mean? Made in the USA right here in Denver, North Carolina. I mean, you guys just have such a great selection and, and like you said, a great customer service staff. Well, I really appreciate it. We are car people ourselves and we like helping people out. All right, and we like seeing that kind of thing. If you have a product that you would like to see featured on Performance TV, send an email to Jeff at masterstv.com and we will have more next week here on Performance TV.